10 big screen couples who hated each other in real life. As rumors that Fifty Shades of Grey co-stars Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan can't stand each other in real life continue to circulate, we've rounded up 10 more movie couples whose on-screen passion was matched by off-screen loathing. Number 10, Sharon Stone and Billy Baldwin in Sliver. Fresh off her success in Basic Instinct, the general consensus was Sharon Stone was the sexiest woman alive. Too bad her Sliver co-star didn't think so. Stone didn't care for Baldwin either, and reportedly once bit his tongue so hard during a love scene that left him unable to speak for days. Number 9, Richard Gere and Deborah Winger in An Officer and a Gentleman. The passionate love story on screen was in direct contrast to the way Winger and Gere felt about each other while making the 1982 film. According to co-star Louis Gossett Jr., Winger described Gere as a brick wall, and she didn't think much of the film's director Taylor Hackford, whom she called an animal. Number 8, Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey in Dirty Dancing. No one puts baby in a corner except her co-star. Despite their off-the-charts chemistry, Swayze found Grey's silly moods difficult to deal with during the filming of the classic 1987 film. In his memoir he revealed he couldn't stand that Grey was prone to bursting into tears anytime someone criticized her. But all was forgiven some years later, and the two went on to become good friends. Number 7, Meryl Streep and Dustin Hoffman in Kramer vs. Kramer. The iconic 1979 film about a couple in the midst of a contentious divorce made Streep a star and earned the actress her first Oscar. But it was absolutely awful for her to make. Hoffman at the peak of his fame took it on himself to school Streep in how to act. The actress was in the throes of getting over the death of her lover, actor John Cazale, during the making of the film, and Hoffman reportedly taunted her about him to help her get into character. He also helped her by once unexpectedly slapping her across the face right before the cameras rolled. In another critical scene, Hoffman unexpectedly threw a glass across the room while seated at a table with Streep. Number 6, Nick Nolte and Julia Roberts and I Love Trouble. These two truly despised each other, which explains their complete lack of chemistry in the 1994 rom-com. Roberts thought her co-star was completely disgusting, and when asked for his take on everyone's favorite pretty woman, Nolte said, she's not a nice person everyone knows that. If their scenes together seem disjointed in the film, it's because things got so bad, the actors shot their part separately and were brought together in the editing room. Number 5, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes in Romeo and Juliet. There is apparently one woman in Hollywood who is immune to Leo's charms. Danes was all of 16 years old when she filmed the Baz Luhrmann highly stylized rock opera with 22-year-old DiCaprio, but found him very immature, due in no small part to the actor's penchant for playing practical jokes on the cast and crew. These star-crossed lovers were not exactly heartbroken at when the film wrapped. Number 4, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams in The Notebook. This one surprised us because we remember when they were very much a couple for three years after the movie. Director Nick Cassavetes spilled the beans to VH1 when he revealed that Gosling came to him and asked that he find another actress to read with him to get ready for one of the film's biggest scenes. McAdams went ballistic and a screaming match ensued, proving there's a thin line between love and hate. Number 3, Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn in Four Christmases. This was a case of extreme opposites that collided on camera during the making of the 2017 holiday film. Witherspoon, a stickler on the set for preparation and lots of rehearsals and Vaughn, a party-loving actor who preferred improvisation, reportedly found each other completely frustrating to deal with. Vaughn thought Witherspoon was an irritating perfectionist, and she had a hard time dealing with his casual attitude towards doing multiple takes. Vaughn refused to do any publicity for the film which tanked at the box office. Definitely not a match made in Hollywood heaven. Number 2, Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron in Mad Max and Fury Road. It's a good thing these two didn't play lovers in the futuristic film because they had a very antagonistic relationship at the start of filming and reportedly didn't trust each other at all. While that may have added to their character's believability on screen, it didn't make for a very pleasant atmosphere on the set. By the time the film wrapped, the actors had forged a tentative friendship. Theron told the Wall Street Journal, maybe the movie is what it is because we struggled so much with each other. If we were chum chum, the movie would have been 10 times worse. Number 1, Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan in Fifty Shades of Grey. We thought their total lack of chemistry was because they were both embarrassed to be starring in the cheesy Fifty Shades of Grey franchise. According to insiders on the set, it turns out these two don't like each other at all. Those steamy love scenes were not at all hot for Johnson who said, it's mechanical. 